Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to make a Bangladeshi Kodu. Now, let me say this again Bangladeshi Lao or Bangladeshi Kodu, which is a, this vegetable is like a, a marrow. Yeah, um, they can grow up to three and a half to six kg or even more in weight. So this year, a lot of people tend to grow them in the back garden. <coughs> Excuse me. So sorry. Now, we tend to grow this type of vegetable as well. I have few videos on we actually grow in uh, Bangladeshi Khudu in our back garden. And I'll leave a couple of photos so y you can actually see and gauge how big they, these vegetables can get and i'm going to make a bhaji out of it yeah using we'll use prongs and kodu bhaji and i chopped a few i've chopped one and a half onion here and a bit of garlic and we will conjure a lao bhaji for you so Let's go and do this. So as you can see, this is the vegetable here. See, most people, the bigger, uh, the larger, the large kodu, more, a lot of the Bangladeshi people tend to do, they they make, you know, with the skin, you can actually make white bhaji with the skin as well. But I don't think I want to do that. So let's peel the skin. Look, as you can see, you can really make a nice um, bhaji using the skin as well. Or we call that niramish. If you go to your, uh, you know, your local Indian restaurant and sometimes they will have in their menu Niramish. Basically Niramish means bhaji. And in Bangladesh Niramish means a mixed vegetable. You know, mixed be uh, mixture of vegetable, that's what it means. Now we can actually cut marrow into square shape or we can cut them in a long piece I will decide what I'm going to do in a minute right there we are now just to show you here this piece here look it's, it's smooth it's like a fluffy Yeah, similar to marrow taste. You can actually buy them in Bangladeshi uh, grocery stores and most of the Asian grocery stores have them. Different places have different names. So, so if we cut a, one piece out here like this, and show you that. as you can see, there we are. Right, so I'm going to just cut them small pieces. I could do this. You know, go wild like this type. So let's cut them in small pieces, shall we? Square pieces be much better. All right, so we will cut them in square pieces. All right, so if we do, let's do four square pieces like this. Okay. As you can see, it's, it's similar to origin inside. No, the texture I'm talking about here. Okay, so no, it's no. Let me grab a 
ball or something. Let's get a ball here. Yeah. You can cut them many ways you like, but I'm just doing this. I know a lot of people will, a lot of you will make, oh, I don't do this way. Oh, I, basically, cooking is an art. You decide whatever you want to do. How you want to do things, you know. You can, go, you, can, you can do them long shape, like that. Uh, you can just put them in square. Entirely up to you. It's all about trialing and practicing and So there's another tips for you. When you're cooking with prawns, when you defrost them, <clears throat> excuse me, you can defrost it, just leave it to defrost, or you can use hot water technique. But it's best to squeeze the water out, okay? Squeeze the water out from the prawns. When you make it your crack, squeeze it out. Well everyone. Okay, one thing keep bothering me for a long time, you know, I'm doing, whenever I'm making these videos, I'm using my Samsung Note 4 mobile phone to record. Obviously, it has HD quality uh, videos, but I want you to tell me if you like that kind of quality or you want me to upgrade a bit more to you know get a professional camera so i'm thinking you know spending a bit of money and buying myself a canon eos 70d or 80d or 90d you know i'm looking at um, spending a few bob obviously these are very professional camera and they're very quite, quite very expensive indeed so I'm thinking whether I'm going to it'd be worth it for me to invest that kind of money, eight, nine hundred pounds, a thousand pounds on a camera. But in fact I started taking photographs. You know, I have a hobby that I do on the side. I, I been doing it for many years, taking photographs. And recently I started putting them up on Shutterstock and iStock photos. I mean, Shutterstock is easy to go in, you know, they let you in. But with Getty Images, iStock is very difficult, invitation only. And I send some of my photos they, and they accept it. So, there's an opportunity for me to start doing something I like, passionate about photographs. So I'm thinking, I may do start doing that. So if you wanna, I'll put a link up, I just loaded a couple of photos about 40 or 50 of them, you can have a look. Excellent, so go back to our uh, our vagina. So I'm going to put in a spoon, uh, you could say a tablespoon, or you could give a two spoon of ghee. Now the question you often ask, why you keep using ghee in your cooking? So if you go to any, if you, whenever you're on, you're visiting your local Indian restaurant or British Indian restaurant, all the chef, every majority of them, they use pure ghee in their cooking. So, 
So the reason we use ghee instead of vegetable oil is that it enhances your cooking. Right. Now you've been thinking, what is that little thing in there? Uh, let me. It's, it's nothing. It just. I'll tell you what. I must have used when I made up made that pilau rice the other day. I must have kept. Uh, put the put the spoon in. There's some grain, rice grain left here. And a ghee. Yeah, it's great. Okay, no problem. Right. So this is the spices here. We have some bay leaf, a uh, um, couple of cinnamon stick. Or we call them dalcini. Darcini or Dalcini. Yes, put that on. Pinch of salt. Right, there we are. That would just pinch of salt. That will do. Right, so I'm going to do, I'm going to be slightly different here. I'm going to put some bit of tomato puree into this. Okay? So let's squeeze some of tomato puree into this. That will, that, that will do. Now, whenever you're cooking, it's always best idea to burn the spice. Right. So, burning the spice means that Spies tend to be raw when you eat any, you can get that spicy feeling, you know, you can get the, the spice, raw spice smell stays, so what we do, you put early your spice in, so I'm putting half a teaspoon of haldi powder, turmeric powder, one and a half, now let's put two teaspoons of mixed curry powder. Uh, I don't want to put any chili because nobody likes chili. A little while and I'm going to just put a little tiny amount of zira. Okay. the spice in, leave in a slow gas for a couple of minutes. You can put a lid on if you like.
occasionally do a little stirring session. Make sure you're not burning. Don't burn. Few more minutes so the spice really cooks in. There you are, I think it's about time we should put our spoons in now. Prawns are already cooked, big cooked prawns, so we don't have to cook them too much. Right. Just shake it a bit. So put the heat down a couple of minutes. It's ready, so I'm going to now. What I'm going to do is just pour in the takudu or lau marrow, in fact, there we are. Hold in. I'll mix them together. I could use a long spoon if I wanted to. Let's use a long spoon. Look at how big that spoon is. It's called Papa Chef spoon, this one here. Now it's almost all the ingredients are mixed together, everything looking nice. All we need to do now is grab ourselves a lid and leave it for 10 minutes cooking slow gas. 
and hopefully our bhaji will be ready. So let's grab a lid and let's put it like that. Put the gas down and put the gas down already. And we leave it for about 10 minutes or so. Alright, so we've been cooking for about five minutes. Let's open up and let's have a look how it's coming along. Yes, it's nice and tomorrow is getting tender. Slightly coming along nice and Yeah, just to check the yeah, bit is coming along, we put the lid on again. Alright ladies and gentlemen, my prawn and marrow bhaji is done. Hopefully it should taste fantastic, lovely. Now why don't you try making one yourself and uh, just to say please smash the like button, subscribe button and check all my, um, under the description I have a lot of things going on. So please take us some time to check them out. I really, really appreciate that if you check those things out. And just uh, make, uh, you know, write comments. See how I'm getting along. Once again. Thank you so much.